Hello everybody, welcome to this week's online Bible club. Now I'm John and I'm going to be telling you the story this week. But first we'll go and have a song. Now remember, during the song you can always do the actions. Join in if you can and see you in a minute. Can you remember what last week's story was about? Can you remember who told it to you? Well done if you said it was James and he told you the story about Daniel's three friends. Now they got put in that burning fiery furnace for disobeying the king's command. But they were all right because God loved them and looked after them. Do you remember the story? Well, now we're going to think about the next stage, which happened a bit later on and Daniel was now an old man. So remember he was quite young when that burning fiery furnace happened but now he's about 80 and the king Nebuchadnezzar had died and there was a new king, King Belteshazzar. Now Belteshazzar, he knew all about the things that had happened to his, his grandfather Nebuchadnezzar but he didn't care about any of that. He just did what he wanted to do and he didn't care about Israel's God didn't care about Daniel or any of those things. He just wanted everything to be his way. He wanted to be the greatest. And one day he called a great big feast. A feast was more than just a party. It was enormous. A great big hall was set up with big long tables and the best food and all the famous people were invited along and they were going to have such a great time. The feast went on and on. And here's a picture, you can see them. There they are, they're sitting at the table. There's the king, Belshazzar. Can you see his big, fine clothes and all the people with him? Look, there's some nobles and gentle people. And they're drinking. And they're drinking out of some unusual looking cups. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. What had happened, I'm afraid to say, is this feast had gone on too long. And the king and his nobles, they'd all drunk far too much. And people can be very silly when they've had too much to drink. And what this king did was something very bad. He knew that in the treasure houses in the city were special cups that belonged to the temple of the Lord God. They'd been put away carefully because they were holy, only to be used for special things in God's temple. But he thought it would be such fun to get them out and use them in his feast. So he told his servants to get the special golden cups. There they are, unusual things. They filled them up with wine and thought they'd have some more to drink. 
And worse than that, he decided to start to drink some toasts to praise the false gods that they worshipped, gods of stone and wood and gold and silver, Babylonian gods, not the true God at all. Children, that was really very wicked. He was laughing and mocking at the Lord God, the one who'd made heaven and earth. And he shouldn't have done that at all. Now, let's just think for a minute about our verse to learn. Can you read this with me? And then I'll talk again about Belshazzar's feast. This is our verse to learn, and it comes from the Bible. It's James chapter 1, verse 22. It says, Do not merely listen to the word. Do what it says. Can you say that with me? Do not merely listen to the word. Do what it says. That's a really important verse for us to learn. Now, King Belshazzar, he'd heard all about how God had spoken to his grandfather, Nebuchadnezzar. He knew how Nebuchadnezzar had to humble himself and say that God was greatest, not Nebuchadnezzar. And here was Belshazzar doing exactly the same thing. He'd heard those words. But he hadn't listened to them. And here he was saying, he's the greatest. There he is, swilling away at the wine in these special cups. It's as if he's saying, the God whose these vessels are holy to, he's not really important. I'm the important one. There he is. He'd forgotten all about God's word. He thought he was more important. Well, party was going on and getting noisier and noisier <clears throat> when suddenly everything went quiet. It went very quiet and people became frightened because they saw something that no one had ever seen before. There, on the walls of the room where they were feasting, they could see what looked like somebody's hand just a hand, writing a message on the wall. Look, here it is. You can imagine them all. They were sitting round nearby, drinking and eating, and suddenly they saw this happen. Now they're not ordinary words. I can't read that. You can't read that. And neither could King Belshazzar. But he knew something different was happening. He knew he'd done wrong, and this was the first time he'd seen anything like that. And he was so frightened, he was really upset. His face went pale, his knees started knocking together, and he had to sit down. He couldn't stand up because he was so frightened. And all the people with him, they were frightened too. And then news of what had happened got round, and the Queen came along and spoke to the king and said, O oh, king, in your kingdom there's a man called Daniel. He can interpret deep dreams because God's spirit is in him and he will be able to tell you what that writing means. So King Belshazzar, he called for Daniel. Remember, Daniel's now an old man. He'd been a bit forgotten about. Belshazzar thought he was the greatest. He didn't need helpers like this. He called for Daniel. Here, look, there's the king sitting on his throne because he can't stand. He's so frightened. Here's Daniel, an old man with grey hair. He's been called to say, can you understand this writing and tell us what it means? So here's our verse to learn. I'm going to tell you a bit more about it. Remember, it says, do not merely listen to the word. What that means is don't just listen. And the word for King Belshazzar was the important things that God had done in the past. And for you, the word of God is this, the Bible. Can you see it says Holy Bible on the back there? That's God's word. And we tell you about that every week. So don't just listen to it. Don't just listen to these stories. You've got to do what it says. And that's just 
what Belshazzar hadn't done. Remember, he'd been cheeky and rude. He'd praised his idols, all the false gods of Babylon, and he'd done so by drinking <clears throat> out of the special vessels and special cups that were from God's holy temple. And then that writing had come. So here he is talking to Daniel, and Daniel has to read the writing on the wall. That's going to be very difficult. He knows what it means. He can read those words. And he boldly tells the king off. Well, it's difficult to tell grown-ups off. But the most important person of all, the king, who is in charge of everything. Yes, Daniel told him off in front of all his friends and all the people in the party. He said, King, this is what the words mean. It means God has weighed you in the balances and found you wanting. Your kingdom will be divided and given to the Medes and Persians. The Medes and Persians were their enemies. What Daniel was saying was, King, you're not going to be king anymore because you're not good enough. God doesn't like your cheeky ways. and He's going to call you to account. What a difficult thing to say to the king. No wonder the king looks upset there. But the king had promised that he would give to anyone that could interpret the writing a rich golden necklace and fine robes and a good job. And he started to do just that for Daniel. When outside, remember it was night time when they were having their party, outside the city this was happening look there's the city gates and there's all these soldiers they're creeping in at night they came creeping in and they're fierce these are the Medes and the Persians that Daniel was warning the king about they crept in and they went to the palace where the king was and the nobles were and they burst in and there was a terrible fight and the king was killed. That word came true. The king was killed. But that's not the end of the story, children. Because when the king was killed, he was called away to give account to God. All of us must die one day. And this was Belshazzar's day to die. When he was called to give account to God, he couldn't give a good account of his life. He hadn't listened to God's word. He hadn't listened to it at all and he certainly hadn't obeyed it. So that was a very terrible end for his life. Now why are we telling you this? Well we're telling you this because every week we tell you these stories from the Bible that do give you very serious warnings and we're saying to you your sins, the things you've done wrong, Will get a punishment but if you say sorry and come to the Lord and repent of your sins and say Lord I shouldn't have told lies I shouldn't have been cheeky to mum and dad I shouldn't have been unkind to other children if you really are sorry for those things and you really do repent there's some really good news because the Lord Jesus Christ when he was on earth he died in the place of sinful people. That means me and you, if we say sorry. And he died as a punishment for sin, and he'll take sins away, meaning that we're not guilty of doing naughty things or bad things. So when my time comes to be called to give account to God, I can say, the Lord Jesus has paid for all my sins, and the Lord will look on him, not on me. And the same will be true for you. If you trust in him and ask him to forgive your sins, when you're called to account, there won't be any punishment or anything dreadful for you at all, because the Lord Jesus will take it all away. So don't remember, don't just listen 
Jackie or Liz or Lindsay or James or me telling you these stories. Don't merely listen to the word. Don't just listen to what we're saying. Do what it says. Tonight, when you go to bed, pray to the Lord God and say, Lord, I have been naughty. I have been sinful. Please forgive me. I trust you. Please may the Lord Jesus Christ take my sins away. And he really will. And then you'll have a much better end to your life than King Belshazzar, who didn't listen at all. He was weighed in the balances and found wanting. Well done for listening, children. It's time to go now, so I'll say bye-bye. See you again next week. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,